So here we are in the beautiful Owyhee Desert on a cold January day, and this is the MSR Access 3, and I am going to struggle reviewing this because there's really nothing I don't like about this tent. Currently, I own three backpacking tents, a one-person Nemo Hornet, a two-person Nemo Dagger, and this MSR Access 3 tent. Now, I thought there would be no way I could like a tent more than I love my Nemo Dagger two-person tent, but I don't know. This thing is definitely giving it a run for its money. And in terms of four-season tents, this is absolutely my favorite tent for getting out into the backcountry. Now, here's the question we're gonna ask today. Should this be the first backpacking tent that you own? Now, before you hit the comment section and jump all over me, hear me out, listen to my reason. Now, one thing you might be saying to yourself is, John, that is way too heavy of a backpacking tent. And you're right, for a traditional three-season backpacking tent, this is somewhat heavy, but for a four-season tent, it is extremely light. It comes in at just over four pounds. Compare that to other four season tents on the market, it is significantly less weight. And compare that to my Nemo Dagger, that is just over three pounds. It isn't significantly more weight than my three season tent. Other things, cost and size. Yes, this is a three person, four season mountaineering tent. It is going to cost more, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just talk about some of the features that I love about this as a four season tent and what makes this the best four season tent on the market. Now, we already talked weight, and in terms of weight, this is a very, very light four season tent. In terms of construction, this thing is sturdy as shit. I have used this in harsh conditions, in the Sawtooth Mountains, in the middle of winter, up here, in wind, in snow, and this thing just handles like a champ. It has a singular pole design, and those poles are super light. Therein is the cost, therein is the lightweight, and there is more to this pole system than a traditional three season tent, because you need your tent in four seasons to be stronger, to be able to handle snow, to be able to handle stronger winds. So as you'll see with this MSR Access 3, the poles don't only just connect at the corners, they connect at the midsection as well, giving it a sturdier pitch. Also, this thing is designed to keep your heat inside the tent. It knows what it is, it knows it's gonna be used in cold temperatures, and the design of it caters to that. Also, unlike some other four season shelters that I've used in the past, I have no problems with condensation with this thing. So not only does it keep your heat in, it really breathes well so you don't wake up to a soaking wet tent. It's very, very easy to set up. And I love the two door system. This is a three person tent and I love that. I love the space. I am a pretty decent sized fella and if you ever wanna take someone with you, you're gonna need room for them and you're gonna need room for your gear in the winter time. So with a three person tent, you can fit two people and gear inside of it, no problem. You can sit up in this thing. That's another thing. In the winter time, there is a lot less daylight. So you end up spending a lot more time in your tent. And for me, someone who actually wants to enjoy my time out here, it's really nice to have that extra room where I can sit, I can hang out. Hell, if I had someone else in there, we could play a game of cards in there, no problem. Just sit there and be fine. I love that extra space. And with the two door system, if you have another person in there, you don't have to climb over people to get out of the tent at night to go to the bathroom or if you're the first one to wake up. It would really suck if there was only one door to this thing and you were at the far side of that door and to get out at night to pee, you had to climb over gear and another person to get out. MSR thought of that. There's a two door system. That is super smart design. I love it. And with those two doors, there's a vestibule on each side of it, even more space for even more stuff. I dig that. Your big honking boots that you wear in the winter time, 
can go right outside your door. There are plenty of places to guy line this out for those extra harsh conditions, and it's got plenty of pockets and nooks and crannies that you can store stuff in. If I have one knock on this tent, the only knock is that they are really, really, really trying to save weight, and the stakes that come with it don't have uh, any line or anything to be able to pull them out. So you can easily lose one of your stakes if you pound it in too far. Come on, MSR. I mean, put a few guidelines in the stakes so I can pull them out. It's not gonna be that much weight. It's fine, it's fine. You're already light enough. All right, so back to my original question. Should this be the first backpacking tent you buy? Okay, maybe, maybe not. First of all, you need to ask yourself, do you like backpacking? If you aren't sure, if you even like backpacking, chances are no, this is not the first tent you should buy. But if you're able to borrow a tent and go do a little bit backpacking and you get the bug, and trust me, you will know the bug when you feel it, okay? Just itching to get out, itching to get your backpack on. If you get that bug and you don't own a tent, then I am going to make the argument that this should be the first tent that you get because this tent can do everything and you won't have to buy a second or a third tent. Yes, $6.99 is a big price, but if you end up buying three tents for three different situations, are you gonna end up paying 700 bucks? Probably, probably more. First of all, I truly believe your first tent should never be a one person tent, okay? You are going to want room sometimes, you are gonna want the option to be able to bring a friend. A one person tent is your at least your second tent, okay? You are final, You are going out and you're doing solo stuff and long miles and you are very advanced. That's when you spring for a one person tent. So you need at least a two person tent as your first tent, in my opinion. Now this is a little bit bigger than that. This is three, but even so, even more room. You are definitely going to be able to fit your girlfriend and her dog or your wife and your two small children in this thing if you wanna go backpacking, if you wanna get them involved in backpacking. And again, there's that four season functionality. Maybe right now you're only doing summer stuff, but you wanna to start to push the edges, maybe extend into November, maybe actually try your hand at some winter backpacking then you already have the tent. And this is a very popular item. I have seen it on sale. I actually purchased this one for about $550. So if you can get this thing on sale, I think there is a good argument to be made that this should be your first backpacking tent. So hey, let me know what you think of my idea. What do you think should be someone's first backpacking tent? If you're interested in more gear reviews, I got a great playlist right here. Some more awesome hikes and backpacking adventures over here. YouTube thinks you'll like this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.